Hello everybody, this is Megavoltaic and I'm here to show you all such another wonderful tutorial video on how to do stuff on your computer. Since you guys seem to like the last one about the Intel HD 3000, I thought I could give more informational tips on how to do things that are computer related and stuff. So, I have here the amazing screen recorder called Bandicam. And it's quite remarkable in what it does and how it does it well. I find it much more useful than Fraps or Camtasia Studio, and it's much cheaper at the same time. So, for those of you that have purchased this, or just simply have it, really, I'm going to show you all how to use it to the best of its ability. Because it's actually quite a powerful program. <coughs> and lightweight, too. Forgive me if I cough randomly, I have a cold, as usual. I don't know why I keep getting colds when I do these tutorials, but whatever. Anyway, here you'll have the amazing Bandicam file. And uh, it's quite remarkable. As you can see, it's recording me right now. That's another cool thing about it. I can do a recording on Bandicam as I show you guys what it can do. So I don't get to sacrifice the love of this program. Um, there's a couple of options that you have. Here you have the general tab, which shows you uh, where all of your videos go, or rather where you want them to go. And you can choose for whether to be always on top or not. And here you have some settings as to how you want it to separate recordings, which is also fine at all. <coughs> but that's stuff you probably won't be messing with. Uh, that's kind of stuff you can just ignore. Here we have the target selection where we can either choose the to uh, hook it to a DirectX window or simply have a rectangle on the screen. Since I am doing this tutorial via Bandicam, I can't really show you that too well, but this is basically what it looks like. You'll have this little black bar surrounding the window and you can choose what resolution you want and you can choose what window you want to hook it into and you can choose a couple more things like moving it and choosing always on top. Whoa quirky things like that, and image capture. So that's always good. I'll put that back there. Anyway, moving on, we have some more stuff. Ooh. <coughs> moving on. Told you I was going to cough. In the video tab, we have a couple more options, you know, um, hotkeys for that, hiding the mouse cursor or not. For this one, I decided to show it because you guys need to see where my cursor is, obviously. Uh, here in the settings menu, you can choose uh, all of your sound recording options, where it says record settings. There's a couple of things you might want to change before you start doing things. Now, this is probably one of the highest reasons why I love Bandicam, and that is because not only can I record two different sources at the same time, I can disable that they are mixed. This box will be automatically checked. Just uncheck that and then check safe audio tracks while recording as .wave. What this will do is not only will it record the video with both soundtracks in it, but it will record the video, have one WAV file with your voice, and one WAV file with your computer audio, or whatever you set for the primary and secondary, it doesn't really matter. But by having these tracks separate, I can set how high I want my computer audio to be and how high I want myself to be. And it allows you to set more variable volume control. So basically, you don't have to sit there and keep testing and making sure that the audio levels are proper before you go. You can just record and worry about that crap later, which is much better than any other recording software I have seen in a while. Moving on, we go into the format settings. Now, for those of you that are using uh, Sony Vegas, I probably should point this out right now. This codec will be automatically set to MPEG-1L2. You want to change that to PCM. If you do not change it, your audio will be ruined. At least, um, no, it's going to be ruined. It's going to be ruined. That's for audio. All the other stuff you can change, like stereo, monorail, and the frequency, all that beautiful stuff. As for video, you can change the size. If you realize that there is a performance hang happening, you can change it to half size or whatever. It doesn't really matter. You can change the FPS that you want to record at and the codec. You can also change it to a variable bit rate and uh, change the quality. Woo. That's a lot of information. You can even use a whole bunch of presets that they have. 
set for stuff like YouTube and Sony Vegas and PowerPoint. All wonderful stuff. But, yeah, that's pretty much it. And that's why I love Bandicam. Bandicam is very simple and straight to the point, and it's not complicated. So, basically, all you have to do is just set the box and click record. So, whether you're emulating something or playing something in a web browser, or simply want to record a video playing off of your desktop, it's very efficient in what it does, and it does it well. So, anyway, this has been Megavolt Take, simply showing you guys how to use Bandicam. Um, and I really hope you learned something from this. And I will see you all at a point in my life. Thank you for watching the video.